I'd never write Liverpool off and I was looking at Villa's fixtures and they've got fantastic fixtures, Villa. They've got games where, you know, you'd feel they'd have a big chance of winning. So it's all to play for. We've just got to keep going and picking up points and playing like we did the other night and play like we've won six out of the last seven in the league. If we can continue that type of form, we've got no problems. But uh, it's a tough run in and uh, certainly they don't come any tougher than Chelsea. Well, they're favourites, you know, for sure now. I mean, you know, the, the, the position they're in and they are a great side. There's no doubt about that. They've got everything. They, they, they've got bags of ability. They're strong. They've got pace. They're a, a real tough They've got a lot of men in the team, if you like, that are difficult to play against, difficult to beat. And uh, they've got themselves in a great position, but it's not all over yet. Saturday, tomorrow's a big game, a big day again. You know, Man United have got to win at Man City to stay in it. You know, we need to beat Chelsea to try to keep pushing for that full spot. So it's going to be another great day. Um, I'm sure after tomorrow there'll be a lot of... Uh, you'll have a much clearer picture about what's going to happen. Oh, we've just got to go out again and try to play the same as we did against Arsenal. If we can do that, we'll give Chelsea a real game. But I think we've got to play as well as we did against Arsenal and even better if we're going to get a result tomorrow. You know, as good as Arsenal are, Chelsea at the moment, they are part, they've got the Man United and won. They went to Arsenal and won comfortably. They really are, the, at the moment, they're, the, they look, they're looking the strongest team. So we've got to really... It's a tough game tomorrow, you know. Well, it'd lift it again, you know, for sure. I mean, but I think he's got a profile of always. He's always had the profile of being a big club, you know. It's just unfortunately the, the positions that the club's finished in over the last, you know, 15, 20 years or whatever haven't shown that. So, but um, if we could do it, it'd be it'd be a terrific achievement by the players and everybody, you know. So that's what we're looking to do, and we're still in there, and it's it's an exciting end of the season. We've, we've got a chance, so. We've got to keep going. And uh, the other night was a special night at, at White Hart Lane to beat Arsenal. First time in 11 years, really, apart from a League Cup win. That was the first time in 11 years in the league. So it was a great night for, for the Spurs fans, and that's, that's what it's all about. Nico Cranchar picked up a terrible injury at uh, Wembley and played on in extra time. How he played with an ankle, I never know. Honestly, he came off after, and we'd, gone, we'd used our subs, and the kid got... A, a nasty tackle, and his ankle came up like a balloon. Honestly, and he, we knew, you know, he knew we didn't know the damage he'd done because he wouldn't come off. He played on with it. As soon as he came in and took his boot off after, you could see his ankle was such a mess, and he's going to have to have a, a really nasty operation. So he's out for the season. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But the, the courage he showed was was unbelievable. Really, he's come in this morning. Didn't feel so bad. He, you know, yesterday he was he was in as well. And, um, if there's any chance he can play, he will play. He'll go through the barrier, whatever it takes, Ledley. You know, he's an amazing character. To come out and turn in a performance like he did the other night when he hadn't kicked the ball for uh, not sure how many weeks, but it was plenty of weeks since he last played and hadn't even kicked the ball. And to come out and play and turn in such an unbelievable performance was uh, it's just amazing, really, how he does it. Ledley is up there with the very best players in, in the country, there's no doubt about that. You know, he's a fantastic player. If he hadn't had his injuries, I'd, you know, he'd, he's, he'd be a world-class player, there's no doubt. Oh, for sure, yeah. I think he could, you know, you'd, you'd have him around any day because, uh, you know, if you got an injury, you knew if he came in the, in the team that uh, you got no problems, he's that good. You know, and uh, I think there's six days between each game anyway, so... I'm sure that uh, the manager knows, you know, he'd, he'd be looking at that and figuring out whether he could use Ledley or not. But it's going to be his decision, but certainly uh, he's a magnificent footballer.